Welcome to Tabitha is OK, and this is The Sims 4, where I'm doing a remodel of the Rockridge property in the Eco Lifestyle expansion world. As you can see, I have a little Sim here. Her name is Evelyn Schuler, also available in my gallery along with the finished product. Uh, and she's a bit of a snob. She just moved to this neighborhood and she wants to have a remodel that's more in style with her neighbor's house, which has been updated as well. And uh, so this is sort of like a upper class, totally eco-focused, like makeover. Um, as you can see, I start by deleting a bunch of stuff. I think the house is super plain to begin with, and it's just not really to a snob's taste, especially in The Sims. Y'all know how the snobs can be. Um, so I started by getting rid of basically everything. Um, I'm going to keep the overall shape of this house and just sort of make it the ultimate version of what this house could be um, because I like to do sort of a realistic makeover where changing the exterior of the house is pretty expensive. As you can see, I wanted to give her a porch and some outside space because that's one of the reasons that you move to the up and coming eco fabulous neighborhood. Uh, and as you can see, I like to use the roof as an overhang instead of trying to waste tiles or space. Um, having a an exaggerated um like actual roof come out i just have it overhang onto the upper porch uh, and i sort of start matching this style a little bit more to our neighbor although i use different wallpapers it's all from eco lifestyle um i think that's the only pack i use also in this uh so if you like it you can download it from my gallery it's the same username as here on uh youtube tabitha is okay and I love, I just want to say, glass roofs in this, um, especially in the eco lifestyle like universe and world because it's sort of, you know, trying to enjoy the sunshine as much as you can, which I really like about um, the characters that love outdoors. They really do love the outdoors and really appreciate it. As you can see, I make the bathroom downstairs smaller but it's because i'm adding a small office or potentially a kid's room although i make it an office for evelyn um and i think that this sort of works because i have the main bedrooms upstairs and they get a bigger bathroom um because they need it obviously but it also makes it so that it's just more of a powder room downstairs i think i end up with You can tell I fuss when I <laughs> start designing these things. <laughs> oh, okay. I did one shared bath. Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay. You can tell I did this like a week ago or so. I made one central bath upstairs and uh, instead of doing two so that the master bedroom even though it has its own outdoor space you obviously want to be able to fit a double bed in there and it was just going to be a little bit too tight um so instead of making either of the bedrooms small because i hate the tiny secondary bedroom that's kind of a personal pet peeve um i make them both more modest size and have a shared bedroom instead because again there's another bathroom downstairs if somebody has to use the restroom One of the things that I really love about building in The Sims is that you can correct your mistakes, unlike real building. <laughs> so one of the things that I spend a lot of time doing, especially when I'm focusing on one pack, is placing, fussing, deleting. It's totally okay to do it over and over again. I know that that's something that a lot of people hesitate with, is they get nervous. It's sort of like artistic choice dilemma. Um, but you know, one of the things about digital media that is great is that there's less of a sense of loss as far as resources goes. The only thing that you lose is your time, which of course is precious, but at least it's practice. Uh, and I think that applies to building in The Sims as well. I really enjoy figuring out like what makes this house look welcoming what would make me buy this house and i think a warm welcoming front entrance really does that either with a porch or um if you don't want to build a porch then doing some like 
bushes or flowers on either side at the entrance that can really be helpful and so like for me on this one I wanted her to have a lot of chance to spend time outside especially if she's going to gloat to her neighbors Miss Evelyn (laughs) Um, so I built plenty of front uh, porch space because she maybe doesn't necessarily love outside like I didn't give her character that trait but it would be nice to be able to step out in your house slippers and wave good morning to everyone and sort of like just be proud of your house um, which if that sounds silly and insane then my apologies but I love that idea <laughs> um, I tend to basically only like the ceiling lights because they actually illuminate the whole house in a way that is realistic. Um, So pardon me if I overuse them in all of my builds. I try to use some of the hanging lights, but it can be really frustrating when you want to have like illumination up the walls and they, the pendant lights are very like dramatic contrast in The Sims. So I designed this second bedroom for either a teen or another adult couple, depending on how you want it, but I kept it pretty simple. Um, I would have loved this room personally as a teen because I was getting ready to go to art school and I picked the artist inspired bed. So this is something I would have loved, but maybe it's not necessarily to the style of how you play your teen Sims, which is totally cool. This could be a great roommate house for you. Uh, I also love using the more traditional base game art in ways like that where they slightly overlap and sort of look like a dramatic modern art piece reimagining of things. Um, I know that some people think of it just purely as clipping, um, but with the art specifically, especially when I'm trying to stick to only one or maybe two packs, I like to layer them in that way, especially if the room is either artistic or modern anyway. So it looks normal and natural, but at the same time, you're getting this like more more use of the product, so to speak. <laughs> I love the teal bathroom. Don't at me. This is one of my personal favorite things to do is do the teal bathtub um, because there's a lot of stuff in the bathroom, especially for base game, that actually matches it really well and annoyingly so, really. Um, But I sort of tried to make it not super bright teal. I did a mix of the beige and teal here. Um, But yeah, it just adds a little flavor to the bathroom so they're not just stark white or stark monochrome. All right, finally, we're going to be doing... I love personally this master suite the entire upstairs patio is only accessible for through the master suite so i made it like a gardener's heaven um i actually think these might be a tiny bit too close together and if you put a tree in those planters they might stick up through the roof uh just as a warning (laughs) but i wanted to create sort of like a private paradise that was included as part of the home Um, So it could be placed down anywhere. Sometimes I get frustrated with gardens that are on the ground itself because if you place it in like um, Oasis Springs or something, it looks weird. Um, But this house I think is pretty entirely self-contained, which is something I've really been jiving with lately. Picking a side table to match this bed, even though I love this bed, is really frustrating and difficult. Not having the woods match perfectly can be so frustrating. (laughs) But as you can see, I'm sort of going with like a green gardener's theme for this master suite. It's going to have like a really relaxing sitting area as well, um, although I'm still fussing with it in the game. Um, But basically makes it sort of self-contained so that if your sim is upstairs, there's a bunch of things to do upstairs. They don't have to like go up and down constantly unless they're hungry. Um... And so it just sort of adds like a bunch of more flavor to the upstairs to have this gardening area and a sitting area and like making sure there's a bathroom so that they don't have to run downstairs just to pee. And, uh, and that's another thing I've been doing a lot more lately is trying to make the bedrooms themselves like useful in some way, usually a, um, comfortable chair and one of the side table um like tiny bookshelves i think it makes it a lot more comfortable and appealing to have like these big bedrooms when you can do stuff like that and as you can see in here i am putting a double seating area because this is meant to be a master 
uh, master suite. And so I'm also like putting in a larger bookcase so they can have more variety, um, and a larger dresser and a full length mirror. Like this is supposed to be a place where they can come and relax as the lavish lifestyle, uh, eco-friendly couple that probably owns the property um which i think is part of why i pictured the other room as a teens room like an artsy teens room um is because i sort of pictured a snobby couple owning this place and so it'd be unlikely they'd want roommates unless they were also snobby <laughs> this is really fun um showing off just like the thought process behind doing these dumb things. I think it makes most sim builds more personal and uh, you get to learn a lot more about the people who make these things and why they do what they do. Um, like learning that people are surprised that uh, American Sims builders put rugs on top of rugs. And just to briefly explain while you watch me decorate this master bedroom, that comes from the fact that American homes were built by people who were struggling. Like, this is a, a generalized thing, by the way. It's a big country. Um, but built by people who had very little, um, in the, for the most part, they built, like, what they could afford to survive in the moment. And then these houses just kept getting rebought passed down and never properly cared for and so these are homes that aren't insulated even though they get carpeted and so usually you put a carpet on top of a carpet either to preserve it or to be um warm so like if you have nasty dogs and a bunch of kids you might want to save this carpet because you don't intend to keep the home forever or you don't want to like remodel every few years because <laughs> your family's gross <laughs> Um, but that's like the basis, basic thought process. As you can see now, I sort of finished the upstairs suite, which I really loved. It's very like garden inspired. And now I'm moving on to a modern steel kitchen. Um, I think that's really great for the remodel and the type of person and the type of house that I'm creating. I think it really fits with it. Um, it's a little bit tight and awkward downstairs because of having the office, but I also really like having the office downstairs and available. So I sort of went with it. Like how would I make this appealing and useful? And I was thinking about how like having the table just inside the door um, is very casual, obviously not formal, but it gives everybody a place to throw things down. Um, and it also like if you clean it off after doing that all week, you can still all have family dinners there together. Um, and like you might be able to see outside into the neighborhood that your you know parents really in, bought the house for is the neighborhood right um and then it also leaves this huge space for a nice big comfortable living room as well because i put the dining table over there um you could obviously turn the office into its own dining room as well i just didn't think of that until this very literal moment right now <laughs> Um, but yeah, after moving the door so they're at the widest parts of the wall, it also gives us the chance to have this nice big space um, to create a fuller, bigger living room that um, it's ultimately going to have a lot of seating. Like you could really have a bunch of parties at this house if you wanted to. There's lots of room in the living room. There's lots of room in, for seating for food, even if it is a little bit tight. And uh, And yeah, so that's just sort of the style that I went with was like luxurious comfort in an eco-focused house. Um, another thing I tend to do in my builds is decorate and put just little things everywhere. I use a lot of the decorations. I think that they add a lot of flavor. I'm not doing a lot of alt placing because it can really get messed up when you put things on the gallery and download them again, um, especially because as of right now, which is early 2021, the gallery has been slightly fussy. So just, you know, was taking, taking the time to not alt place things as much as possible. Uh, one of the other things I did to make this a lot roomier or not roomier, uh, cozier was I tried to put a fireplace in here and I actually cannot remember if I ended up with it. I think, I feel like I didn't, 
only because I'm like lingering a lot on this one and decorating the bookshelf underneath the TV. Um, but we'll see, won't we? <laughs> but yeah, I love to decorate, especially these bookshelves too. So for two reasons, one, it makes everything feel fuller and warmer, but also it prevents your Sims from putting their dishes in weird, stupid places that you can't even really see, um, which is another little pet peeve of mine. <laughs> Ah, here's another example of me like fussing with the base game art. So it's like set up in a way where you can use it more than once and it's not quite as repetitive and weird feeling. Um, just using it three different times in that repetitive position of up, down, up is a great example of something you can do super easy uh, to fill up the space more without spending a ton of money on the larger art. Oh my gosh, did I end up keeping this? That's so funny if I did. I mean, I don't think a hot tub is very eco-friendly, but also whatever. This beautiful snob definitely deserves a hot tub. Like she deserves a super hot partner who makes her very happy and they woohoo in the hot tub and make their neighbors ever so slightly uncomfortable, but like in a tolerable way. <laughs> uh, yeah, this house ended up being really cute. I'm still going to do the office here. I think I do that last um, put the skills out front, make it feel a little bit more usable outside. Um, again, keeping everything contained. You can see I even expanded the porch to include the hot tub. I did not put it on the ground, kept it all as part of this like little self-contained modular unit. Um, modular in the sense that you can get rid of whatever you want, um, change things. I Oh, did I end up decorating this as a bedroom? Wow. Okay, we're testing my memory today, but also look at how cute this is. I ended up just stuffing a little guest room down here. But yeah, again, you could change this into a dining room or a kid's bedroom or an office, which is what I thought it was really easily. But a three bedroom, two bath is probably a little bit better. And honestly, I probably should have figured that out because I can see right now that I put a shower in the other bathroom. <laughs> And I usually only put a shower in the downstairs bathroom like that if there is a bedroom downstairs. Oh, look at this. Yeah, just a simple little guest room. Very cute. Um, I even put like, I do this in real life and I, so I put it in my Sims guest room, but I have a little container of like shampoo, conditioner, lotion, like hotel style, tiny things um, in my guest room because I am a fancy adult. <laughs> And so I put it in, I like to put it in the guest rooms in The Sims as well. Ah, you can tell I alt place this because it was bothering me that uh, it didn't look, you know, normal. It looked very weird the way it was naturally setting up. Okay, this house is almost done. This is um, probably not something people would want or use because it's definitely expensive. <laughs> and uh, it's meant for snobs for sure. Like even this guest room has an environment score of probably like seven or eight um so yeah this is not going to be cheap this is not a starter home in any fashion but it really works for evelyn schuler who is also available on my gallery if you're looking for some snobby environments to play in look at this cute little house yeah so uh if you enjoyed this silly video if you like this build and i play a few other games as well uh go ahead and subscribe to my silly little channel and have a wonderful dang day see ya